Students headed to college this fall will face a very different experience. Many will have to learn from home, while others face a delay in the start of school. Consumer reporter John Matarese tells us some families are upset that they still have to pay the same tuition and fees. College is going to look very different this fall, with many classes remote and many students barely setting foot on campus. That leaves some parents asking, why don't we get a discount? David Utz has not just one, but two students in college this September here at Northern Kentucky University. But as he was writing out that big check, he wondered, why is he still paying so much? They're charging them a mandatory recreation fee, a mandatory fee for food, and uh, to get a parking pass again. He has to buy each of his kids a parking permit at $150 each per semester. And he has to pay a rec center fee, $192 per student, even though they'll be home most of the time. Jeremy only has one class in school that he has to show up for. And my daughter Jessica will start this semester and she only has two classes. With tuition at many schools still at an all time high, a lot of parents are starting to ask, why do we need to pay full time fees for what's going to amount to part time on campus learning? CNBC says 93% of students think they should get a discount for online study this fall. And some colleges are starting to lower fees. The University of Cincinnati has announced a 15% discount in campus life fees. And Miami University is not charging housing fees for the six weeks that school will be delayed this fall. David thinks students should get at least a fee discount this year. I think it should be prorated if you're going to do one class and they should figure out a way to do the parking pass for one day a week. An NKU spokesman tells me the school has decided to freeze its undergraduate tuition and parking fees this year. And he says the school continues to offer some of the lowest prices of any university in the region. As always, don't waste your money. I'm John Matter, to be CPO 9 News.